Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. We are playing the Spaced Out DLC as it now has a full release. My name is Twitchy and we are on the rock full of brains, an asteroid full of scientists who are trying to make their way into the future as comfortably as possible. And last time I said the most comfortable way to be making it into the future would be to tame this cool steam vent and I fully intend to do that. Unfortunately, with our quick uh, scout Soare, we now need to wait for the teleporter to recharge but that's cool I think I've got an idea of what we're gonna do in the meantime this rock this asteroid is very small look look at this if I if I zoom out here we've got the neutronium at the bottom we've got the magma that keeps me trapped underneath the ground and then the the two walls are very very close if I can uh, zoom in enough that the walls actually become a problem uh, there is one wall uh, you can see I can't go any further than that and over here is another I think I think we can do this I'm gonna go through the toilets funnily enough this is going to become a little bit of a doorway to the outside we don't really want duplicates going through there until we tell them to go through there so uh, I'm gonna just set that up like that and just dig my way over here uh, this is gonna now get all of these plants I don't actually want to do that well maybe the millwood we'll take the millwood the observant of you will notice that we have a little bit of a stress problem up in the top left hand corner here let's have a look at oh, Boar, my friend and colleague over here you can see if we have a look that he's got a whole bunch of stats all duplicates come with a whole bunch of stats down the bottom here the condition is like health stress morale blah -de blah stress is what we're actually after you can see that at the moment it is dropping down but when I was following him around and watching all the various things that happen in fact I'm, I'm even going to follow him with the uh, with the follow cam because it gives us a center of attention buff which is a nice easy five points of stress back per cycle but what one hours following him around uh, just just making sure I knew what was up uh, it was the oh, the carbon dioxide there are carbon dioxide problems everywhere most importantly ooh, I was looking at the other things here let's go to the gas you can see that we've got a bit of a carbon dioxide problem here this is where boar sleeps and that is what causes our issues is this all types of rock can I uh, dig through this way to get a uh, reach up there I sure do hope so we get we're gonna do that we're gonna dig out three of those and maybe put a ladder in that spot there rather for doing the research I didn't really explain the research that well last time this novice research is the lowest tier of research that we can do uh, and it takes dirt dirt to uh, you know you just put, spread some dirt out boil it up see what's inside research is made right and that is how we get access to all of these technologies there are so many technologies available to us mostly made up into serious um, let's say groupings here uh, computers for your automation decor gases liquids radiation and such forth but in amongst them there are some other very important researches and they normally come with this symbol here as you can see this is the advert advanced research capability this gives us access to the supercomputer and that is for uh, tier two research you can see that uh, the research is needed down this end have two bars underneath them and in amongst these two bars you can see that we have two more uh, one here is for data analysis and the other is for materials research the materials research is for radiation and the data analysis is for orbital space science yes so there's a lot to aim for here um, and we're gonna gonna be aiming for as much as possible but uh, let's let's get exploring oh oh the, the, there's a hatch great we, we need to get on with hatch farming as well at some point can can I do that right now is that a thing I can do no we will aim for it it's a research uh, near the top of the tree food is all up here uh, and this ranching is the one we want to aim for at some point we I want to unlock the supercomputer first because of course we can't get this second bar done without that. I like the way I ended up with a small group of hatches just scattered around the map. Uh, they are going to be eating, they eat random bits of debris. So this this bit of granite over here, this guy will come along, eat it and turn half of its mass. Let's have a look at how much we've got here. So about 500 kilos will be turned into coal. That, that's pretty good, but there are... Ooh, look, here's everything that it will eat. Uh, but uh, we, we, we could do better than this because if we look inside the hatch's little bio here, there are other types of... Oh, 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 they've, they've expanded this just a little bit. There's lots of fa fancy pictures now instead of words. But you can see that there are other uh, morphs of hatch. Uh, if you were to feed this guy a bunch of organic materials, it would turn into the uh, sage hatch here. If you were to feed him certain rocks, it would turn into a stone hatch, which is where we'll be aiming. Or you could feed it metal which will turn it into a type of hatch that refines materials for you. I've never really used this that much. Maybe maybe we'll think about that this time. Not this episode, but this playthrough. 
Okay, we've been having some problems with carbon dioxide building up, mostly down Boar's Edge. So I'm going to grab myself an extra door here and just kind of throw it in space. Uh, this is because I do not have access to what's called an airflow tile. It's part of the research that we can get later on. I kind of forgot that we needed to research it. I've been playing late game for far, far, far too long. Uh, so instead, I'm going to be using the door to seal the room. It's nice to have the room uh, as the bedroom because it gives a giant... What was that? Uh, it gives a giant morale bonus. What, what was that? That. Things must have been like dug through and emptied out or something. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly. <laughs> Okay, and with that built, we should be able to click the room button up here. Yeah, barracks plus one morale for an overnight stay. Beautiful. I mean, they were getting that anyway, but need to uh, clear this debris out as well. Oh, research has been completed. It is the first. Uh, we've got a water cooler and a crafting station. First on the line towards higher technologies. Now, all these technologies will turn up in the furniture over here for the water cooler and the stations are to be found uh, in the stations tab funnily enough what does the crafting station actually give us access to i'm just going to pop one down to remind myself i think it's uh gas masks but we'll, we'll see 44 percent charged this much corridor that dug out another thing that i'm going to be doing whilst we're exploring the map is to try and give somewhere for all the water that's the the ice that we're going to melt slowly over time to drain down to the bottom of the map i think i'm going to do two uh two shafts on either side and then put a slope in going towards those shafts so we can collect all sorts of mixed and horrible waters down the bottom filter them put them in the appropriate tanks i don't know if we'll have time to get to that before the teleporter uh re re spawns but uh we'll, we'll try we'll try also get a bit of a serious problem with the millwoods you know what i'm gonna cancel these can we we're not canceling like that okay i'm gonna cancel like this and then copy the settings across uproot if we can can we copy those settings as well no no we can't okay uh and then move them down below where the water will actually keep all the farm tiles warmer hopefully uh well i say hopefully it's a good 25 degrees down there 22 degrees uh, i am about that Okay, crafting station is up and running. No discovered recipes. Oh, be beautiful. We can't even read the warning down here. Okay, that's nice. Uh, discover new ingredients or research new technologies to unlock some recipes. I just uh, deselected and got it back again. Okay, that's that's uh, a weird little bug, but that's fine. Okay, thinking a little bit into the future here, I'm going to grab a bunch of igneous rock because it's my most um, disposable of materials. Uh, and I'm just going to start filling in these gaps in the neutronium base layer here. Oh, look, it goes up one. So that probably means that this is a, fuel is a water tank here. A big water tank. But is it big enough? I'm actually going to put an access way down, just a, a little bit in between here, uh, just so they don't have to run all the way down to go down and round and back again. Uh, it's a, it seems a little much. And now that the plant has been destroyed, we can put this ladder in place as well. All right, beautiful. Okay, boar stress is dropping, but we're starting to run out of oxygen, and that might be a problem. As we've got nothing to do with this um, crafting station right now, I'm just going to get someone along to rip it down. Boar as well is doing that. Uh, and we're going to go for the oxygen diffuser. This will take a bunch of algae, rip the oxygen out of it, because as we all know, algae is made out of oxygen. Is, is that not true? Um, and uh, then pump that oxygen back out into the atmosphere. Wow, this is taking a while for Boar to rip this down. Okay, some waiting time later, it gets ripped down. I'm going to add the oxygen diffuser. I think it's right there. Is that where the power is? That's not... No. I just don't think this one here has the range to reach out. Yeah, the, the, the light blue, very good. That's what we want. The dark blue, it's breathable, but we could do with more. Am I going to rip this one down for another battery? I might rip this one down for another battery. There we go. The carbon dioxide is just dropping down out of there. The stress for Boar is dropping. Madame Curie also having a bit of stress, but that's probably because she keeps running underwater to go do some jobs. I, I'd, be, I'd be kind of stressed if I had to carry on doing stuff under one, two, three, four, like five? Five tiles? What? What? In fact, I've just stopped to wonder. What is this a meter? Is this a meter by meter? Are the duplicates two meters tall? I mean, I could go with that. So under five meters of water. I mean, that gets a little pressury. Hmm, I am more than mildly worried about the future of my duplicates. They need a thousand calories each per day. That's 4,000 calories. I currently have 120, uh, sorry, 1,269 calories. That's, uh, that's not, that's not the right amount. <laughs> so each one of these tiles with a bunch of cracks in it has something behind it, whether it's seeds or a hatch or just some muck root or something like that. So I think what I'm going to do is come through and just try and dig all of this out and maybe Maybe, just maybe, there'll be enough bounty there for, for foods. 
Okay, we're starting to uncover. There was some muck root. There's some more muck root. Okay, that's beautiful. We seem to actually be getting exactly what I was hoping for. The lack of oxygen down here is a bit of an issue, though. I was kind of hoping all the carbon dioxide would waft its way down this way, as most heavy materials do go down and to the right. I'm not sure what the explanation for that is, but there it is. And on the way past, it will get eaten by these algae terrariums. Algae doing what all plants are famous for, eating carbon dioxide and spewing out oxygen. Okay, there's a bunch of seeds, blossom seeds, briar seeds. Not as much milk fruit as I was hoping for, but we definitely got some. A few more dig sites here, just because I saw some uh, broken tiles. A lot of the polluted water has started to melt around here. This is kind of good because it means we're warming the area up, but also we're, we're, not, we're not ready for the polluted water. We're just gonna have to leave it where it is for now. Okay, because they keep having to run away because of the carbon dioxide, I'm going to drop an algae terrarium here. Let's make it the highest priority thing on the map if we can, and that should get people, yeah, coming around and doing it instantly. Okay, that's another terrarium place down. People are going to have to go around and fill all the stuff up for it, but that should be fine. Water is the uh, next thing. Ah, oh, look, muckroot. We've got more food. Beautiful, beautiful. This should mean that this, uh, this area over here is a little bit easier to dig. There we go. First oxygen's being created, so we haven't got so far to run. In fact, Madam Curie, showing you right here. Okay, new day, new dig. With a great big open space now dug out, I'm going to start making my way up into the cold area. First, we're going to let this water free. Well, first, we're going to put a ladder in place. But after that, we're going to dig out all this algae, which is going to let this water free. I'm also going to dig that algae and get rid of all the sand that's down here. Wow. Oh, and it's away. I, I didn't quite expect it to go that early. I was kind of hoping we could dig the algae out without it dropping down. But there was some sand there. But that's fine. That's fine. We've got the flow has already been set up. Uh, that poor hatch. Oh, mate. You're gonna you're gonna have a bad time. Well, we'll get some meat, but we don't have a grill, so we can't really cook it. Okay, research complete and a new print available. Uh, I'm gonna grab all the hatch legs. We're, we're gonna end up with a lot of hatches up here, but you know what? I am fine with that. Now we've got the advanced research up and ready to go. Uh, what is it we want next? I, I feel like we want to be able to move liquids and we want to be able to move gases. Uh, we can do the liquids at the same time as getting some better toilets. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, I may have changed, but I was going to go for the toilets and the, uh, the the cyclic water system that you can build there. But uh, actually, I'd like to get some ranching on the go. This, of course, means we need to build, yeah, there we go, a new research station. That should be nice and easy to do. The question of where arises, though, I'm wondering maybe up here. There, let's try that. Let's go furniture, not furniture, station, sorry. The supercomputer will just sit on its own up there. Okay, beautiful. The supercomputer's ingredient of choice is water, so we can't do this forever. We only have a limited water supply, but this is one of the reasons why we want to go over to the other asteroid eventually. Downtime got cool, but the supercomputer was built beforehand, but we we have a problem. We have a problem indeed. If we come into the skills section over here, and I think it's Plank who is our researcher, uh, we need to be able to get advanced research. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, but I would also thinking maybe I might want to move the improved strength off of him. We now have access to what's called the skill scrubber. Scrubs the skills clues in the name uh, and we could go all the way up to field research uh, that would enable us to be able to analyze the analyze the geysers that are out and about and also Rutherford gonna get himself a bit of ranching skill that that is definitely a must because we're gonna be working towards that like right now of course the most important part of the skills that I always forget let's uh, let's give some people some hats okay we're gonna go for the uh, improved strength on board we've got the hard digging for Curie uh, we've got ourselves advanced research for plank and of course critter ranching for Rutherford I'm never sure whether the plants actually do anything but uh I, I know that like people can already dig stuff I use duplicate skill points to buy out an entire branch of the skill tree did did I do that? Did I do that? Oh yeah, down here. We've got the uh, improved strength and, and plumbing. Okay, cool. Why is it still telling me no researcher assigned? What? No, we, d we did the thing. Supercomputer usage. Yeah, it's, it it's there. We did it. What? The selected research focus requires advanced research to complete. Open the skills panel and uh, teach Duke the advanced research. Is that not what this is? I mean, it's literally there on his ta list of tasks. Okay, there he goes. Well, he's doing the research. I guess it'll be okay after a reload. 
Yes indeed, the warning did disappear after a reload and Plank is very close to being able to get this last piece of research underway. I've also got, there it was, beautiful, what time. We've got the grooming station, the critter drop off, the shearing station, a whole bunch of stuff for ranching animals. But more importantly, well no, actually that was probably the more important thing. But also at the same time, I'm getting the skill scrubber set up so that we can go ahead and do the thing that I said with Plank. Get rid of this improved strength and uh, get him onto the field research because we are very close, very close to being able to bust through to a few of these geysers over here. Also, whilst I am just thinking about it, you can see this abyssalite. Uh, if I get a dig order and be like, hey, can you dig through this? You can see that we uh, have trouble digging through that. It takes a, a particular skill. Is it a super hard digging skill up here? Uh, I don't think I have access to it right now because I've gone for the two buildings. Uh, but there, uh, and that should mean, that should mean that we're locked in. As you can see, the abyssalite goes all the way around and there's no way really of getting in and out of there. Unless, of course, Unless, of course, some sort of uh, p point of interest happened to have spawned over the top of some of the neutronium, and I could probably make my way through there. So that's going to be my secondary plan after we get everything else sorted. <laughs> Okay, turns out this is the closest I can build to the anti-entropy thermo nullifier. So there we go. We got we got something set up. I don't. It's going to take a while for them to get around to it. It's going to take a while. So we were saying plank. Let, let's get you scrub man. This is the first time we have seen this. How long he comes. Uh, also, while I'm at it, let's set the next research, shall we? Uh, we were working towards sanitation. Do we still want nicer toilets? I think we might want nicer toilets. Uh, the thing with the nice toilets, they take in water. They put out polluted water as opposed to the lavatories that do dirt, uh, which means we're going to need some sort of water cleaning system, which is what this water sieve down the end here is. Uh, we'll, we'll need all of those before that can happen. I'm also going to have to start dealing with gases at some point, but that's that's another problem. The skill scrubbing seems to be quite a uh, an ordeal. Looking at the face that's being pulled on the inside there, it takes a while as well. It's been some time. Oh, Boar's come along to eat with his friend Plank. He's like, you, you're doing all right in there, mate. You're doing okay. Yeah, it's like, yeah, okay, fair enough. I, th I think everyone's going to be fine. Let's have a look in the printing pod. Food? Any food? No food. Okay, I'll take the coal instead, though. Okay, it's time to lay out our first ranch just above the duplicates. I think will be a good place. If we go into this room overlay menu and we can come down to the stable, we can see the requirements that are needed. Minimum size of 12. Pfft, we're not going to be building minimum. We're going to be building maximum 96 tiles. Okay, that's nice and easy there. Also needs a grooming station. Means we can put other things in there. 96 by 5 is going to be a lot. I mean, if we got the... I, I, ooh, I don't know if we're going to be able to build it in this space that I've allowed here. Let's let's think about other places to do it. So this first space that I've allowed for a ranch is not going to fit. Uh, got, got to come all the way up here. Can't happen. That's not... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's not the way it's going to work. But we should be able to. One, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth. Why can I never place this down right? Oh, it'd be so much easier if I had super dar digging. Uh, so 96 is uh, divisible by by six nine times. I don't have space for six. I'd need to bring this out another two. So just to get going, uh, I'm going to end up going for 20 high instead. Yeah, that might be a good good one to go for here. Uh, I don't know how high that is. Uh, let's have a look. Drag this down here. Ah, beautiful. That that high. Uh, so up to this neutronium here. That could be some problems. That could be some problems. We're gonna we're gonna accept it for now now uh this one won't be able to get built but we'll we'll just live with it for for the moment i do have the option of deconstructing a whole bunch of stuff in this poi it's uh, not something we used to be able to do but thankfully now uh we we have the power we're getting these ranches down utmost important utmost uh i also need some stuff from the food we need to be able to drop off the critters and we need to be able to feed them okay cool i think this is everything we need we've got the grooming station the feeder station and the drop off i've put the grooming station closest to the door because it's the thing that's gonna need to oh is the feeder station actually getting refilled more often than the grooming station is being used to stroke them i don't know but we're gonna go this way around for now uh, I, I like to do the ones that are used more often closest to the door so they don't have to run as far as often you know having followed a few of the the duplicants round for a little bit now. I have noticed that the vast majority of them have yucky lung. This means that the amount of polluted oxygen we have in our base is starting to get a little bit overwhelming. In the research, we were headed towards toilets. We, in fact, still are headed towards toilets, but somewhere in here, there should be the ability decontamination. That is further along the line than I thought it was. I was kind of hoping it was a second tier one. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to push on all the way through because, you know, gas management is important anyway. I said I wanted the airflow tiles. These doors are much better. Okay. 
okay, let's let's do it. Let's let's go for it. We can also then, uh, amongst this decontamination, not only do we get the deodorizer, which cleans up the polluted oxygen, we've also got the carbon skimmer, which takes in water, sucks in a bit of carbon dioxide, you know, the black gases over this way, uh, and uh, produces polluted water, which we can then clean with our water sieve that's going to be here somewhere, I assume, with the toilets, with the cleaning system. Uh, so yeah, that, that must be a good little loop there. Or you, you've gone and got yourself stuck again, haven't you? That This is sad. This is sad. Um, Plank, going to take so long that he's going to start. No, no, no. Ran out, ran out of power. That's kind of good, actually. <laughs> start to get hungry. <laughs> Okay, Plank has lost all his skills. Beautiful. This is what we are after. So we could just give him a bit of retraining. Advanced research, field research, enabling the geographical analysis. This is so that we can uh, go ahead and analyze our geysers, which you guys still haven't seen what a geyser is. I, I, I'm going to work on this. In fact, do we make this our priority for the moment? I think we will. We're going to dig there and then dig down below so no water can flow out. Oh, hello. What's this? Wolframite? What does it need? Super hard digging. Oh, no. Who knew? Who knew? I, I sure didn't. <laughs> oh, this means we can't fully uncover this geyser until, until we've upgraded Curie over here. As we watch Madame Curie and the rest of the crew have hurtled off onto a brand new day, I would like to take this moment right here to thank every single one of my Patreons. Scrolling up my screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of these beautiful people that have taken time out of their day and money out of their wallet to come along and support me in my endeavours here. I would like to take the time to say thank you so much, guys. It really is thanks to you that I'm capable of taking a little bit of time to do this every week. Okay, we now have the minimum viable uh, ranch station here, so I'm going to go ahead and ask for all the hatches to be dropped off. Uh, and then somewhere down here, we've got the wrangle button. Where where are you? Capture critters. There we go. I'm just going to drag across the whole base and see what we get. Okay, Rutherford is currently going around and capturing all the hatches. It's a shame that the drop-off doesn't then become... Uh, a very high priority. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. I was worried that we were going to end up leaving them on the floor for far, far, far too long and they were going to break free and uh, be, be horrible cyc cyclic system. Okay, first hatch has been delivered. Beautiful. At some point, someone's going to come along and uh, do, a, do a ranch. Yeah, nice. Okay, and the taming process has started. So because this guy is uh, getting a nice little groom in, getting scr uh, scratched up and uh, brushed down he should be starting to lose some of his wildness uh, we'll see what happens afterwards there we go groom 55% per cycle so we literally only need to do this for two cycles great when they stop being wild and they become tame their metabolism speeds up they start dropping a lot more eggs we get uh, more meat because there's more eggs I'm totally gonna have a little kill chamber somewhere somewhere we're just gonna keep the hatches for them to grow old gracefully uh, but maybe in slightly overcrowded conditions uh, we've had our first egg laid and it is just another hatchling. I was kind of hoping that we'd be getting some stone hatches. You can see we're at 2%. Uh, eat sedimentary rock. Oh, is that where I've gone wrong? I've given them sandstone. Okay. Hmm. I don't have a great deal of sedimentary rock about. Yeah, though, look at this. Okay, so like this this blue stuff here, That that's it. And it appears to only spawn around some POIs. Okay, that's uh, inconvenient. I, I guess it is sandstone for now then. Don't like that, but okay. With the ranch done, I have ripped down the skill scrubber to make way for what's going to be our kitchen. Maybe this will be our kitchen area. I, everything's kind of temporary at the moment, I think, until we can start knocking our way through some of the abyssalite uh, and making the rooms that we want to make instead of making the ones we have to make. Uh, but we're going to make the microbe musher because it can do a, a couple of wonderful things. The first thing, mush bar. It can take dirt and water and produce like just this terrible food that you eat. I mean, it's made out of dirt and water. But more importantly, it can take some of the mill lice that we've got, mix it with a bit of water and make something that is worth double the calories. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. In fact, I'm also going to come up to here to another layer that this game has uh, and tell everybody not to eat the raw mill lice. Uh, wait for it to be produced into a uh, mill loaf. Okay, we can see the very corner of this vent, and it is indeed a hot polluted oxygen vent. It sounds like the really, given the fact that there is so much ice around here, I just want to be uncovering this and letting it vent out. I do, however, need the ability to clean the oxygen that comes out of it, and uh, we're nearly there, actually. We are nearly there. 
Oh no, one of the to literally this toilet that I have just cleaned spawned a morb. Uh, I mean, these guys sit here, they produce a whole bunch of polluted oxygen. I mean, they're pretty cool. I'm not sure if they carry any germs. Let's have a look. No germs there. Any germs on the overlay? No, not really. I mean, they're not that bad. But I, th I think we're just going to have to deal with this one in a quick and brutal uh, manner. Who is going to get to it first? Well, the whole crew's going to get in there. And we, we get nothing but polluted oxygen from it. I was kind of hoping for a bit of meat, if I was to be honest with you. Okay, to try and end this episode, we're going to hit two messy birds with one stone. If I try and take out this particular tyre right here, it should allow this hot polluted oxygen vent to start spewing forth its contents. These are coming out at 500 degrees C. That is very hot, but there's not actually that much. 200 grams of it, so that, that's fine. That's maybe two tiles worth. It will fill up this room and then flow its way past these deodorizers where it should be turned into oxygen, breathable oxygen, and also the 500 degree temperature should slowly melt the ice, which will then all drain down and we'll get both breathable oxygen and water to drink hopefully let's try and speed this up just a little bit more so curie can come through there's going to be some decontamination of the water needing to be done we need some filters and stuff like that but i'm going to analyze this place let's have a look and press f3 have we got are we getting heat look there's, there's little little uh hints of heat coming out down the bottom there that's great it's going to warm up this obsidian first which might take a little bit of time but then it will start warming up the area around it i've built the whole place out of granite um it's not the most heat transferable material but it's it's not like igneous rock or sedimentary that stop it i have worries about the polluted ice and stuff that's caught in here maybe maybe we need to do something about that but that is going to have to wait for next time as i say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time where well we've done water and we've done air i think uh, expandables finally the teleport uh, transmitter has recharged so we might go and do that but i really do want to be able to start getting these ranches sorted Ah, oh, find out what some of these other guises are. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.